Hi guys, to start with, I'm just going to put my lenses. Okay, my nails look sad. Here are my nails, thanks to nail therapy. Yeah, so I'm starting up with my uh, Fix Plus. As you all know, it's my holy grail, as I use it all the time. My primer from MAC Cosmetics, the Natural Radiance Primer. Gently massage it into the skin, just to make sure that you have an additional layer of skin care and you are uh, far away from makeup and makeup does not touch your skin. Once you're done with that, I'm just gonna start color correcting, taking my MAC Deep Dark Palette. This palette, ideally, you can use it for corrector, concealer, contour, and basically whatnot. I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna take my orange corrector just to hide my beard because that is a concern part for me. Once you blend that on, this is how it's gonna look like. I'm not going to take a lot of product. Prolong my foundation, here is it, my holy grill. Looks super white at the moment but I'm just gonna fix it, don't worry. Taking the same palette and I'm just going to draw a line, like I'm just gonna contour my face with the darkest color in the medium deep palette. Just make sure that you have a precise applicator and a proper um, blending tools. Like I'm using the same foundation brush that I use and I'm just going to press it and not going to wiggle my brush. Go very soft with that. Taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, love brightening up my under eye with this. I need a lighter color than this but actually it's stuck in the I don't know where when am I gonna get that yeah so I'm just gonna have fun with that take my time to just let it blend it and until I am not happy with it now I can see the effect of contour and highlight together I usually don't do cream contour and cream highlight but I just want to try that taking my MAC prep and prime powder with my 116 brush helps me amazingly deposit the product and you know my under eye is matte and does not give me any flashback till the entire day like till the time i don't remove my makeup the the makeup still looks impact once i'm done with that taking the nc46 and 168 brush and i'm just going to layer my um, powder on the cream if you see i've not powdered it i've not done a lot of powder on the contour like the cream contour just because i wanted a lot of intensity taking a um, blush this is fleur power if i'm not wrong from mac and taking the same 116 brush and i'm just going to pack it on crazy <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna blend that with the same brush 116 again okay this is taking a lot of time of mine done 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 how much blush girl okay my eyebrow pencil from mac is spiked i've almost hit the pan is what you can say it's almost getting over i do have a lot of options but i love using that oops what the hell is this taking a mac eyeshadow called passionate this is one of my old favorites taking my 217 brush and starting with the crease i'm taking a lot of product to um you know and i'm just going to pack it on on my base i've also done my base by the way that's the same tart concealer that i've used i'm taking a hell lot of time and i'm just going to make sure that i layer and layer and layer a lot because my base on the crease tends to you know move off and especially these bright colors don't stay so much longer then i'm taking the warmer color on the burgundy side i'm just going to pack it on on the outer corners it's always better to start it with the outer corner so that you know your intensity still remains and even if you do any goof ups that's in the outer corners which is always hidden with the lashes and liner I'm taking the green color and i'm just blending it onto the crease i don't know why surprisingly i'm using green but it just helps me you know blend and you know it's a contrast color and just giving me a nice pop of color and blend it suddenly nicely so i've also done the same burgundy color on the inner corners now i'm taking the black color you can see the deepest color in the shadow and i'm just going to pack it on the outer corners make sure that there's no you know going inside make sure that there's ample number of product on the outer corners and then you blend it inside once you're done with that just add glitter in it i use the mac one from uh, it's the purple glitter i don't have the name to it and i use the krylon glue with it i also use my afterglow palette and i added a lightest color on my lid just for that to give me the three dimension look yeah so now it's beaming quite nicely i'm taking my smolder pencil i love this pencil it blends like butter on my eyes but it's not something that i'm used to now 
so i'm just gonna take that and i'm just blending it with my uh, smudging brush i'm taking some more color i think i took a black color and i'm just going to take the same pink color pink and purple whatever i used on the top just the uh, the lighter pink and the burgundy color and i'm just going to blend both of that together and work my way out yeah so if you see the gradation looks quite seamless now and um, it looks fun taking my brush black liner and i've sketched my eyeliner taking the mascara i don't know what mascara is that boom boom lash from mac taking some pack lashes and i'm just going to have fun with them taking the lip lip density liner it's amazing i love the way it's customized i'm filling it all over taking the mineralized lipstick and i'm just going to make it more darker i'm taking my uh, tart palette and i'm just taking that thick brush and i'm just going to do a very subtle highlighter because nowadays i don't like highlighter so much because i've got textured skin after wearing so much of makeup taking a little gloss to the extra powder but i'm not happy with the lip color so i changed my lip color guys i'm sorry I, i'll tell you i just exactly removed the gloss and i did a lot of powder on that and it turned out to be very matte and light if you see in the next picture you will understand that thank you so much i really loved enjoying doing this look for you i hope you all liked it 